how to prevent textured skin and cakey looking makeup. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you the exact steps that I take and the exact tips that I use to prevent textured looking skin and textured looking makeup. Have you ever had one of those days when your skin looked great, you did your skincare, but then you put your makeup on and all of a sudden your skin looked really textured, your pores looked really in line, and for the life of you, you could not figure out why that was happening? Yep. I've been there, I have been there way too many times to count. I've had textured skin my entire life. I have worked as a professional makeup artist with so many people with textured skin and I have really over the years figured out exactly how to prevent it from happening. So if you wanna prevent textured skin and have really smooth, flawless looking makeup, give these tips a go. Okay, my first tip is using an oil in your skincare routine, but it's really important that you use this oil at nighttime and you do not apply it before you put your foundation on. The oil will absorb overnight, it will soften the skin and it will hydrate the skin and you'll be ready to apply your makeup in the morning. Applying this before your makeup is gonna stop your foundation from sitting on your skin smoothly and it's gonna cause more texture. My second tip that I could not recommend more than anything is to use a really good exfoliating product every single morning. My favorite is is still the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. This is a chemical and physical exfoliant that will give you the smoothest skin. If you do not exfoliate, your skin is basically gonna be an already textured bumpy surface for your makeup to go on top of. You wanna scrub away any dead skin cells or anything that's on the skin, any leftover sweat, any leftover dirt or makeup. Get everything out of those pores, get your skin nice and smooth and your foundation will apply a whole lot smoother than ever before, trust me. Next up and before you apply your primer and your foundation and you start doing your makeup, you want to make sure that you hydrate the skin really well. It doesn't matter what skin type you are, you do want to make sure that you use a really lightweight moisturizer. Look for something with the word gel in the name. So this is the Biosense Gel Moisturizer. Another favorite of mine is the Dermalogica Calm Water Gel. Gel moisturizers are water-based and they absorb really nicely into the skin without leaving a sticky residue. No sticky residue means no texture. And another thing that you really wanna make sure that you do is when you apply your moisturizer before your makeup, press it into the skin, don't rub the skin. When you rub the skin, you cause friction and what you're doing is basically physically exfoliating the skin. And when you do that, the little bits of skin that you do remove as part of that process will sit on top of the skin and then you're gonna apply your foundation on top of that. What's gonna happen? it's gonna look more textured. So press your moisturizer in, give it five minutes to absorb and you'll be good to go in with your makeup. And pressing in of the products definitely 100% also applies to whatever primer you are using. This is our matte based primer, my absolute favorite primer for the smoothest, most textured free skin. But exactly the same as your moisturizers, applying your primer and rubbing it into the skin it's gonna cause micro exfoliation and you're gonna end up with more textured skin. So apply the primer, gently smooth it over the skin and then press it in with your fingers and she'll be perfect. And the best thing for texture, and if you can take anything from this video, the best thing is to apply your foundation with a beauty sponge. This is our Pro Perfecting sponge. This one will work perfectly. You wanna use this sponge to apply the foundation over the skin in gentle patting motions, rather than using dragging or wiping or swiping motions. This again is gonna prevent any exfoliation on the skin and prevent you from disturbing the skincare and primer layer that you have already applied. If you do wanna use a brush to apply your foundation, I really want you to use gentle stippling pressing motion rather than rubbing motions or wiping motions. So gently press the foundation into the skin just by tapping it rather than wiping and you're gonna have the smoothest effect possible. Next up, setting powder. This is a really, really important step in your foundation routine. If you wanna prevent textured looking skin, you wanna use a setting powder that is really finely milled and that is translucent if you really wanna get the best result possible. This is our Velvet Finishing Powder from my brand Nikia Joy Cosmetics. Medics. Trust me, as a pro makeup artist, I have tried and tested every single setting powder out there. I promise you, if you want the smoothest results, I would definitely recommend this one. And we've always been taught, like for the longest time, I was even taught learning to become a makeup artist to use a big powder brush and literally wipe it over the skin. This is the last thing that you wanna do. It's perfectly okay to use a powder brush you just wanna use stippling motions rather than wiping motions because again, and I'm probably a broken record by this point, but it's gonna prevent disturbing the makeup, it's gonna prevent micro exfoliation, and it's gonna prevent texture. So what I want you to do instead is actually take the same foundation sponge, dip it into the loose translucent powder, and then press it into your skin. This is gonna make sure you've got a really nice even layer of powder over the skin. It's gonna prevent disturbing any of the makeup. And pressing it in 
over the top really instantly erases any texture that you've got and any enlarged pores. And then last but not least, always seal your makeup with a setting spray. This will help prevent caking and separation of the makeup and it will also get rid of any powderiness that you may have on the skin. You can use this straight after you've powdered and before you apply your bronzer and your blush and then you can use it again at the end of your routine. This is my all-time favorite from Gerard Cosmetics. I do have a discount code. I'll pop it down below for you. This will hold your makeup in place incredibly, incredibly well. And there you have it, guys. Those are my top tips and the exact steps that I take to prevent textured skin. It works for me. It has worked on hundreds of my clients and they've always been like, whoa, I have never seen my skin look this smooth. If you've got any more questions or you're having any more issues with your makeup application, please pop them in the comments down below. I'll be sure to answer them for you. And also let me know if there are any other issues with your makeup that you are having trouble with. I'd love to create a video to help you out. But I love you guys heaps. I hope that you found the video helpful and I will catch you all in my next one.